Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Madden Undrafted to MVP. We're on to episode 4 as we start our second season. So let's get into our first bit of training and then into our first pre-season game. Okay, so play action rollout drill. Okay. So roll out and we should have B. There we go. Well, I mean, Hearns fumbled that. That better counts completion. So, roll out right again. Again, should have B. Hearns is wide open again. Okay, so we are two for two so far. Roll out right again. Easier than rolling out left. we we'll throw X and Thomas comes down with the ball. Romo rolls out, we've got Y, Ooh. we did have Y wide open, but uh, we weren't quite there, so roll out left for the last one, we're sacked, okay, that way is not our stronger point, clearly, but uh, a silver to start the, start the pre-season is not too bad, 3 out of 5, not bad, but uh, definitely we can do better than that. We've managed the team, let's go to depth chart. So, I've been promoted to the starter. I'm, I was bored of holding footballs. Dak Prescott has fallen out with the coaching staff and they just want him to ride the bench for a bit, so why not? Halfback still Ezekiel Elliott, we now have Isaiah Crowell as the backup which isn't too bad at least. Fullback is still Olawale. But receivers, we have picked up Michael Thomas. I don't know how we got Michael Thomas, but he is here. And at tight end, we now have Greg Olsen. So that's not too bad. Kicker. We picked up a guy called uh, Nathan Brown. Yeah, uh, he looks pretty good, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. But anyway into our first preseason game. As with the start, we're going to be playing less in the preseason and more, well, obviously, all of the regular season. So let's go into the first game. Okay, so we're only going to get, uh, what, a quarter, I assume. Um, we've got less than five minutes to uh, get some, get something going. So see how we do. So Michael Thomas is now our number one receiver. Alan Hearns relegated to number two. But we have Greg Olsen open for the first catch of the game. So we'll go to level sale. It looks like man coverage, but it's not. So we'll hit Elliot underneath for another nine yards. Go five wide on second and one. I mean, this is where ideally I'd like to go deep. So I might even change Thomas to a strip, uh, to a fade. I have, but he's not getting open there. So Moncrief is wide open for another completion. We're going to run it because finally we have our starting offensive line and Zeke out there. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can get him some good yards. That's what we like to see. Nine yards on first first down. I should really be going. With be playing by what the coach wants because uh, let's face it I'm a second year player shouldn't really be calling the shots I'm not Tom Brady yet but play action and we'll hit Alan Hearns for another first down we'll flip the side given that we've got better numbers why would you go outside there's a cutback lane inside but, uh, okay. On second down, here's Romo. Oluwale gets another 11 yards back there. So let's see if uh, Elliot will get the first. I hope so. There it is. Down to the seven. Gets two when we needed just the one. Even though we're in the red zone, we're going to split out to five wide. This looks like 
cover two man with just a single linebacker. As you can see, zone, but we'll hit Michael Thomas for the touchdown. There we go. We take the lead. That's what we'd like to see. We've got one touchdown, and we're not going to play for the rest of the game. We are officially out of this game. I mean, this has been pretty back and forth, hasn't it? And we lose 31-24. So despite getting, an, well, I say an early lead, despite having a really good drive to open our, our day, we lose. Let's have a look. So Dak Prescott ended up with a fairly decent game. 16 of 21 for 188. I was 6 of 6 for 66. And a touchdown. Nathan Peterman had two touchdowns, so that clearly shows how bad our backups are. Josh Allen, 7 of 10 for 68. Not too bad for him. Crowell ended up with 92 yards. I mean, obviously, Elliot only 3 for 9, but we'll uh, we'll get there. But, uh, yeah. Preseason doesn't really matter, does it? So... We were in rhythm with 60% completions. We we're 100%. And uh, unfortunately, we only got one of the two touchdowns they said to try and get. But uh, really, with just one quarter, it's not likely to happen. So this game will get half, I believe. And uh, we're just going to simulate training, I think, really. Because uh, takes a bit of time, especially if we've got silver or, or higher. If I just simulate it, it means we get that again. So let's go into our second game against the Bucks. Our goals for this week are 60% completions and a touchdown. So let's see how we do. We're straight on the field, which is good. Play action fake quick. I do like this, uh, this play. I run it on ultimate team quite a lot. I say quite a lot, like, when I can remember I've got it, and then we're going to... Oh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was... Uh, not quite wanted. I mean, I kind of expected it. It's the sort of thing that would, uh, that would happen after having such a good game in the last... We're going to run the play action boot and see if we can get into a rhythm now and uh, get our first completion of the game. <laughs> of course not. Peter Bay are in there with the sack. We're going to block the, uh, the running back and fullback. What a, what a catch from uh, Thomas there. Ooh. Coach has given us plays to choose from, so we'll go with, with this one. And there's Thomas again. I feel like he's going to be a go-to target this year with, with Olsen, as they're the two guys that are our, well, highest rated pass catchers. We'll go straight back to the stick. Sacked again, okay. <sighs> Held the ball for too long. Elliot on the scene here looks quite good. Oh, he is wide open. Woo! And there we go. That is a touchdown. That's the big arm that we're expected to have. Boom. Ezekiel Elliot with touchdown reception. Keep the bucks out of the uh, out of the end zone or off the scoreboard for that drive. So we we'll come out with the chance to take the lead. Hopefully, not another pick six this time. We're going to hit Elliot out of the backfield. Beats a couple of men and tackled. Twelve yards. This Texas play is usually quite good, unless the uh, linebackers stay quite shallow. I might have to hit Thomas on the out. Yeah, we're hitting Thomas on the out. And there he is again, making the catch. Woo. Oh, Zeke just cutting back and taking five yards or six yards. Five, it says there, but that was a hell of a cutback. Now we're going to go play action slide. We're going to flip it. 
so that I can actually throw on the run, perhaps, or a little bit better than what I normally would. And that's a great catch from Olsen, one-handed on the sideline. Go back to the run game. So hand off to Elliot, up the middle. That is another 12 yards. We need to give him the ball more. It's not all on Romo. Yeah, Crowell was in this time after that long run. And he's actually done all right there too. Eight yards. I like it. Uh, uh, 80, you were, meant to, you were meant to block there. He just stood there. Oh, he didn't throw it to me, so I'm going to... I'm just going to stand here. Ugh. Oh, 80 was Michael Thomas. I'll give him a little bit of slack. Then. We're going to run it. First down. And a slide. Big time play. Romo now to throw. Yes, Moncrief. Well, great catch on the sideline. At the front of the end zone. Did a little toe tap to stay inbounds and complete the catch. Uh, we're going to run it. And slide. Woo! Maybe we'll get Michael Thomas. No, that's Julius Thomas in there at tight, tight end. Maybe we'll get him a touchdown. Or we'll get sacked. Either way. What a catch that is on the sideline. Woo. We're slicing and dicing. We're going to give it to Elliot. At least I hope it's Elliot on the goal line. I assume that it will be. And there it is, touchdown. Elliot has two touchdowns now. One through the air, one, well, one reception and one rushing. So that's good. We come back out really quick there. The Bucks are not getting anything done. We'll send Elliot in straight away. I mean, it's a Probably the wrong idea there to try and cut back, but four rushes for 24 yards will take. Probably should hand it off to him a bit more, but I want some more yards. I'm greedy like that. So, uh, we'll hit Hearns over the middle or out the other side of the drag. And uh, picks up seven or four. Okay. I thought it was seven yards. It was four yards. The Cowboys always have a lot of success with the screen, especially when throwing to Elliot. So maybe the Bucks are going to fall for this. It was man coverage. So now we're level again. We need to try and take the lead before half time. This be a good, uh, good indicator of where we are. If we can have a good four minute drive to uh, end this first half. Wow. Force that a little. Are you? S Shut up. <laughs> well, I mean, the main thing is we get to try again. But that's two pick sixes. But that, <laughs> I had a feeling this would happen if we uh, if we started to like if we started. Just need to uh, throw better passes, make better decisions, not force the ball to any one receiver forced it to Julius Thomas and of course he's not as good as he was maybe four years ago oh I had a feeling that was going to be picked off as well but, uh, second and three so we are at least making progress this time I'm just going to send Elliot I think he got the first didn't he Third and inches, okay. It's only six in the box and we have six blocking, so this should be a first down. It is. That's the two minute warning. The question is, can we find another blown coverage or a, a gap in the zone and see if we can get another touchdown? Oh, open. Great, great catch. Really was. 206 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. I don't think that's that bad. Like, 
tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'll tell you what, though. A one -hit Ideally, shouldn't have those interceptions, but uh, it's not not as bad as what it could have been. We we'll hit Michael. Th oh, it's Alan Hurts. I thought it's Michael Thomas. From the gun, here's Romo. Oh no! Throw it away. Whew. I mean, we're 14 of 17, and two of those incompletions were pick sixes. So we should. <sighs> If I hadn't thrown those, we'd be in the lead. That's fourth and six, so the coaches decide that we're going to kick a field goal. So that makes it 17 to 21. We have 13 seconds to go. Let's see if we can get something big. We'll give this one a go. This looks like cover three, so... Oh man, we've got three, two tight ends out there. It is. And that is... Michael Thomas open. There we go. Got one last shot, really, before half-time. Why would you... Oh, they put me out there. I'm going to put this on normal. We'll see if we make... Is that probably a 62, 63-yard field goal before the end of the half? Oh, no. Clearly didn't make it. That's annoying. And we lose 29 26. God damn it. <sighs> we wouldn't have lost that one if I hadn't thrown the two pick sixes. So that one's on me. The last one wasn't, but uh, yeah. An early pick. Literally, first play. Pick six to Spellman. And. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't have. We should. I don't think. I don't think we really should have lost that. Did throw for 249 yards though, which isn't too bad. Just uh, need to work on them interceptions. So we do have a skill point available. So before we go, we'll at least upgrade ourselves one more. I mean, I'm gonna go field general. Uh, it does take us up to an 81, so that's good. So we increase our awareness, throw accuracy mid and throw accuracy short. Short is definitely where we need to need to increase our overall or our, um, increase our stats. But that's going to be it for episode four of Undrafted to MVP. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Undrafted to MVP, then please subscribe and I will see you next time.